again, my fellow musicians, aspiring musicians, fellow guitarists, aspiring guitarists. Again, my name is Lance Oscar Carr from Victoria, BC, Canada. I want to share with you the backing track to go with this Lava Guitar game uh, that I've founded and trademarked here. Um, I'm sharing this for educational purposes and watch out for the um, full course and all the all the different content you can get to cover all the strings, all the notes. Um, so this first one is going to be based on the E minor chord. We can think of pretty much any key, but thinking from the minor, it's much easier to approach all these cool scale or sounded in, uh, variations. So the first chord I'm going to play is this E minor chord, and it has three letters in it, blue letters. They would be E's, G's, or B's. So you can find those letters on your fretboard on that small string, but you can also find it in this chord that I'm going to play. I'm not going to show you right now, but that'll be in future material, but just understand that those are the letters I'm playing when I strum this chord, and that's why you match really well if you're going to noodle or improvise and play the EGB letters in blue. So here we go. We're going to do our first jam, and you're playing what's called the EG blue, EGB blue, like totally in smooth sounds, just like this. I'm going to count to four, and you just join and jam. One, two, three, four. So I'm playing an E minor chord. To a 60 beat a minute metronome. So whatever you play in blue, you should sound pretty in. There shouldn't be any tension. It's pretty smooth. Also doesn't make it super exciting, but that's okay. Now we know our in color, the blues. So you play E, G, B. So E notes, G notes, and B notes. Time you hear someone in your band playing the E minor chord. You could call that the E minor triad, the E minor arpeggio. They're just, to me, they're blue notes that are in the chord in E minor. That's all you really need to know. Let's try it one more time. So you play the E, G, and blue, note, blue notes any way you want. You can mix them and match them, but try not to play any other notes because those are going to be considered lava, fiery notes that we want to avoid. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. All right, we're going to change these scales up. This one's going to be Dorian minor. Blue open frets. Green fret two. Blue. Fret three, green fret five, skip over the fiery blues note, land on fret seven. Skip over the fiery eight, let's do fret nine. Ooh, that's pretty spicy, it's an orange spice. Then we can resolve it by landing on that blue, and then this blue. So again, that's zero, two, three, Five, seven, nine, ten, twelve. Again, zero, two, three, five, seven, nine, ten, twelve. Those are the notes we want to play for the Dorian scale. So look at your chart, jam on those only, and you got this Dorian sound. To me, this sounds like some of that cool. Interesting note, that orange one, that number nine. That fun, very Dorian sounding, it's called. It's a, a Greek word for the Greek mode, E minor Dorian. Works great over E minor. Definitely have fun.